What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger, man. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe. We got some exciting things coming up on the channel. You know, I got more time freed up from what, you know, we were focusing on. If you will be, uh, if you're already a part of the notification squad, when I go live later on, you will get that notification. We'll talk more about that then. But for right now, I want to talk to you all on why I'm still bullish on Shiba Inu. I see a lot of people saying, you know, Shiba Inu's market cap is up so high. You know, uh, Shiba Inu hasn't really done anything major or significant in the last few years. Let me drop a few gems on y'all. But first off, let's start where the market is right now. We got the overall crypto market cap sitting at $2.24 trillion. Who remembers what our all-time high was? So think about that. $3 trillion is the all-time high. We're about $0.75 trillion away from reaching that all-time high again. History repeats itself. The market cycles show that in due time, the prices will be higher. Now, we can't say, you know, this with certainty or like we got a crystal ball here. But if you're bullish on a crypto market, if you're someone who truly believes and understands I mean, have true conviction when it comes to cryptocurrency, you know the market is still very young. Crypto hasn't even been around 20 years yet. That's still a very, very new market, especially for you know what crypto has accomplished so far. Now, knowing this, you gotta be able to have that foresight, you know, that ability to, you know, want to stay down for the come up to understand what investing means. It is not an overnight journey. It is something that you really have to be dedicated to. You have to commit to and you have to continue to stick along with it through the ups and the downs. That's what it is. It's psychological warfare to make you emotional, to trick you out of your position before uh, undetermined amount of time before you reach whatever success level you're trying to hit. The success and the money is there. You just have to stay down for it. So take a look at the fear and greed index right now. As you can see, we are at a 51. I remember when we were down in that, you know, 30 area and I was telling y'all, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled because you see the prices dropping. Do not be fooled because you see people flooding. Don't be fooled because you're not seeing the values in your portfolio increase. You have to have strong conviction. If you do not have conviction and strong belief in what you're holding, nine times out of 10, most likely you're not going to see a major success. All the people who, you know, were holding on tooth and nail, but just didn't have that conviction. The last bull runs, you know, they jumped off the ship right before things started to go crazy. What happens is the market breaks you down. It gets you exhausted to where you're like, you know what? I'm tired of looking at this in my portfolio. I might as well just let it go. You have to give these things time. So fear and greed index sitting at a 51 tells us the market is still in neutral territory. So, you know me, I prefer to buy when the market is fearful. And, you know, if you want to lock in gains or sell, you know, that's what you want to do when the market is greedy. Now, right now, the market is, you know, kind of indecisive. It's not indecisive. It's not sure if we want to, you know, start, you know, continuously moving forward. But I think we've, you know, hit a very important area, which we're going to talk about real soon, where we can start looking less at maybe just a fear and greed index and start just, you know, accumulating as you're comfortable. Remember, the overall rule is dollar cost average. That's the way to win the game. You know, continuous investments over a period of time. You know, if you drop a large amount in right now and the price pulls back 20, 30, 40, 50%, then, you know, you might feel that a lot more versus you investing smaller amounts over a longer period of time. So keep that in mind as well. So Bitcoin, 64,000 right now, y'all. 64,000. We're, we're, we're hovering right in that range for us to, you know, absolutely go crazy again you know the market hasn't pulled back too far where it just destroyed people's confidence but it's you know it's floating hanging on right in that range to make people you know still like i think they're i think we still got a chance you know it's a it's, it's pushing the exhaustion in a way where some are jumping off the ship but for those of us that are still diamond handed we know what's up bitcoin 64,000 up seven and a half percent for the week still up 52 percent for the year we got Ethereum sitting at 2,654, up 12.8% for the week. So look at what's happening with our top blue chip coins, you know, over the last week. October is coming up, y'all. Remember, historically, October is one of the best months in crypto. If you take a look at the last time we reached our all-time high in the crypto market, that was October 2021, around election time. So now what people are expecting is... Um, you know, pretty much the same thing to happen again. 
So a lot of people are excited. You know, a lot of people are, are, are positioning themselves for this, you know, fourth quarter potential launch that we could uh, see. So BNB, $611 up 12% as well. Take a look at this. Solana up 12% as well at 148. You know, take a look. Connect the dots. Uh, XRP, 59 cents right now. Only up a half a percent for the week. But we can see XRP was doing, you know, was uh, pushing up and having some good times when some of these other assets weren't. So that's what happens. You know, the market, the money in the market jumps around from project to project. You just want to make sure you hold your position down in your projects. You know, as long as it fits your investment strategy, hold it down, you know, and wait for that money to cycle back to you. Now we got Doge at 11 cents right now, up 9% over the last week, 22% on a year. Time coin up 1.9% on a week, sitting at $5.61. Cardano at 38 cents, up 16% for the week. We got trying at 15 cents, up 0.78% for the week. AVAX is sitting at $27.74, up 16.3% for the week. And then we got Shiba Inu at four zeros, 14.81, up 11.28% for the week, 43% for the year. Take a look at this. We had a lot, you know, that average of like, we're seeing a lot of like 10 plus percentage on the week for a lot of these different cryptocurrencies. This is why, you know, you have to be patient. There's good weeks, there's bad weeks. Now imagine, had you bought in dollar cost averaging the prior week to this, you would be up, you know, 10%, you know, 12%, 16%, 8%, depending on which of these assets you bought. This is why you wanna buy the dips and, you know, don't be afraid when you see the price pulling back. And also, an important thing is, now I know a lot of our community is diming handed for further out but this is why i tell y'all i recommend having it's not financial advice do whatever's best for you but i recommend having multiple bags so you can take advantage of the short term rips as well now we haven't seen any lately but you know a couple months ago when we seen sheep at 4500 points per coin you know in that area had you had a wallet that you've been you know accumulating with for that specific purpose to be able to lock in some gains you know you could have seen a nice you know 4x 5x which that's not uh, anything to, you know, it's not life-changing money, depending on what you, you put in there. But for these wallet sizes that I'm talking about, it's not going to be life-changing money, but it just gives you the opportunity to, you know, secure something off the table. Because trust me, whether you're holding or not, there is always people selling, you know, every single day and, and locking in gangs, you know, or selling for a loss as well. But, you know, you want to keep that in mind and also be able to participate in case that happens. You got your long-term bag, mid-term bag, short-term bag. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm excited about. Also, keeping in mind that Shiba Inu is essentially the Ethereum to, you know, Doge as the Bitcoin to the crypto space. Or, you know, Ethereum, let me rephrase that. Shiba Inu should be looked at as the Ethereum of the meme coin space. That's a better uh, sentence. You know, because think about it. If Doge is the Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, you know, the second OG meme coin, is essentially the Ethereum. And it's based, you know, it's tied to Ethereum. So as Ethereum begins to rise, Shiba Inu will too. You know, you know, we're all confident that in the future, Ethereum will be worth $10,000 per E. Now, what will Shiba Inu's price be when that, you know, happens? You got to, you know, have that foresight to think forward into the future. You know, as the overall market rises, you know, that's what you want to start to try to envision. Where do you see this crypto city? When the overall market breaks that $3 trillion market cap and we hit a $4 trillion market cap, $5 trillion market cap, $6 trillion market cap, you know, and, and even in the future, when, once we're at that $10 trillion market cap level, where do you think Shiba Inu will be? That's what you have to think about. When a lot of faith is lost in a lot of these other projects, the community, the Shib army will still be there. Even if you know it's not as exciting right now, we got a lot of people chasing other projects, we still know the Shib army is very, very strong. Retail will return. So also, we got right now the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates, which is good you know, for the overall crypto market because now that they're pulling rates back, you see what's going on over the last week. People are becoming more optimistic. It's becoming cheaper to borrow money so now people are you know willing to take on you know debt to try to make more money with it versus when interest rates are too high people don't even want to touch the money so that's another good sign for us right now uh we got also a massive outflow from exchanges so if you take a look at let's see if you take a look at some of these exchanges and look at their shiba inu holdings you'll see that 
there are a lot of investors right now moving their funds from the exchange to their private wallets and what that means when they do that is that they are bullish on shiba inu they're not looking to sell in the short time they're looking um in a short time frame they're looking you know further out because they expect something good to happen so that's what i'm looking forward to you know right now when it comes to sheep uh, also we got you know a lot of uh bullish articles starting to pop up versus you know at the time when we start to see all the bad articles that's what you want to pay attention to as well and remember while you're while the media is saying one thing they can a lot of times be doing the other thing so this is why you have to pay attention also as a, a, a good sign when the fudding is picking up because the fudding picking up means there's going to be a lot of people jumping out of their positions and you know it leaves room for you to buy those dips so that's the way you want to play the crypto game if you truly want to win also a cool quote i seen from the bitwise cio this is what i want to wrap this up with saying you got to pay attention to you know the growth and the development and the adoption rate in the market the bitwise cio says that the most powerful people in finance are allocating funds and a lot of funds to bitcoin so you know no matter what's happening you know on the day to day you gotta zoom out sometimes you know look at bitcoin from where it started and look at it where it is now erase everything in between and just understand that as time you know expands bitcoin has a you know the opportunity to continue to go up and as bitcoin goes up it can pull up the entire market Be people become more optimistic people uh you know create new opportunities you know a lot of exciting things so that's where we gonna wrap this video up that's why i'm still bullish on shiba inu i still expect something amazing to happen with Shiba. i think a lot of people are going to miss out on their chance because they are losing faith now am i saying Shiba is just going to 1000 x from right here right now absolutely not that's not what i'm saying but i think we're going to see some really good upside to shiba inu that a lot of people are going to wish they were a part of you remember we have to let the weak hands shake off because the rocket cannot carry everybody to the moon. So that's all we got for this one. I will be hopping on the live stream later today. We'll be talking about Vegas Inu token. We'll be talking about more she. We'll also be talking about other meme coins and just, you know, what's going on in the market. Looking forward to seeing y'all there. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not and that you got those notifications on. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are